we want to draw structures for the indicated organic compounds that include a functional group. The first thing you want to do is you want to be able to identify which functional group each one of these compounds has. So we notice on the first one it has NaL. So this tells us this is an aldehyde. So you'll want to go and either look up on a table what an aldehyde includes or you'll want to just go ahead and learn that. You've already learned that and you can just implement that. This one's easy. It says acid so we know it's an acid. This one says ether so we know it's an ether. And this one ends in O-N-E so we know this is a ketone. Once you establish exactly which functional groups are being used, it's very simple to draw the structure. So on the propanol, we have pro, which means we have three carbons. And then if it's an aldehyde, we're going to have a double bond O bonded to an H. Remember when you actually write this, if you're on a test or anything, it needs to be CH3, CH2, C bonded to H, double bonded to O but for simplicity and practice you may omit the hydrogens. Now on hexanoic acid, well we know that it has six carbons and we know that it has to have a double bond O bonded to an OH to make it an acid. Now what about this crazy ether? Remember the ether has an O bonded to two R groups, one on either side. So this one is simply C bonded to C bonded to O and then four C's. So the two C's here indicate the ethyl and the four C's here indicate the butyl. Now on the last one it's O and E, it's a ketone, so we know it's going to be C double bonded to O. It says it's on the third carbon, so we draw five carbons And on the third one, we're going to put the double bond O. Oh. 